Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. For those of you that are interested in the cards, I am pulling from Tony Carmine Salerno's Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck, as well as John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And when I was shuffling, you guys actually had two cards fly out and hit the floor from this deck. So you're getting two cards for that. I have prayed over my Sibylas and my Lenormand in case we need any clarifiers along the way. We'll look at those if we need them. I'll make sure you guys can see these. Perfect. Even have room to bring them down a little bit more. Okay. So what we have is your situation, the recent past, something that you're unaware of, something that's unknown to you, and then the recommendations that they have for you at this time. Now, right off the bat, you're going through some changes. Five, five is an indicator of, of big changes. But you're having a really hard time with that. You're having a really hard time with that. First card, this is your situation. We have emotional withdrawal. And you can see he's sitting on a beach by himself. This talks about this is a card. It's traditional tarot. This would be cups. So this is emotions, things connected with heart, feeling. And this card talks about, you know, withdrawing, pulling away from someone or a situation. It could be an old love. It could be a relationship, maybe a relationship you were in for a long time that was familiar. And for some, some people are married to jobs, but I'm getting for most of you, this is actually a love thing. But some people love their jobs. They're married to their jobs, but, but you've had to leave something behind in order to embark on something new, something undiscovered, unchartered, something you haven't done before, but you've had to let people go. You've had to let, most of you, you've had to let a relationship go, let someone go. And you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. See, he's by himself. You know, you only have his footprints in the sand. You only have his hand in the sand. He's, he's completely by himself. But when we're going through changes like that, it's essential for us to take time to ourselves because we have to reflect. We have to take time to pause, to think about the situation, to heal, to prepare ourselves for the new beginnings, the things that we are going to embark upon. And I think, although right now is a current state of sadness, for some even despair of having to leave things behind, it's a very emotional, turbulent time. It's also beautiful because the number eight is, is a number that represents passion and it's infinite love, infinity control, power. It's really about stepping into like, this is, this is your time. This is when things get better. It, for some, this is talking about divine love, but to have that, to have that divine love, that unconditional love, that blessing, that gift, you do have to take this time to heal your heart, to heal your soul, to, to forgive yourself, to forgive others and have the courage and the strength to step into those, those things that those new opportunities for some of you, it's, it's like, undiscovered territory like moving forward with someone totally new totally different than from what you've had some of you have been stuck in miserable relationships for a, a, a long time because it was comfortable it was how you always did things and some of you've been in relationships um relationships that have been lacking depth because you haven't wanted to listen to your soul's calling uh, to move toward the person that you're destined to be with you see they're talking about my gilded tarot let me see if i can reach those so in the traditional tarot, particularly the gilded, I love those, there's a card that is in traditional tarot, this would be eight of cups. And let me, let me see if I can find it. Ah, there it is, right up on top. So in traditional tarot, when you look at this card, you see this man, he's like, he's totally turned his back on all these cups that are turned over. And if you can see right here, you've got this sleeping mole and and moles represent you know blindness not seeing things not seeing things for how they are um ignoring our calling ignoring things which is interesting because this next card that we're going to cover is in traditional tarot it would be the the two of swords and in the two of swords card it, it's this woman she's standing there and she's holding these two swords but she's blindfolded so she's purposefully ignoring the things the decision that she has to make totally ignoring it but in this, you've got the moon that's illuminated up there. So he's, he's leaving behind. He's totally turning his back on these things that have left him feeling unsatisfied. Like for a while, they may have helped him mask his emotions. They may have satisfied him for the time being, but they didn't fill in space. Kind of like a diversion. So for some, like multiple relationships with people that were simply a diversion. 
keeping you from going toward what, what you're destined to, to. For those of you that this is a relationship, keeping you from going toward the person that will satisfy you, will bring you happiness, that you truly have a deep emotional connection with because the moon, the moon represents truth, illumination. So some of you have had, have had the truth recently revealed that these, for some of you, the behaviors, these things that you've held on to, these people that you've held on to, these things that you've been doing that have just simply kept you from answering your call, moving toward your destiny, moving forward. You've just had those things. Some of you have been holding on to them because of familiarity, but you've realized that they're not satisfying you. The truth has, the truth has been revealed. It has come to you that these, these people, these things, for some there's even like behaviors like drinking involved that they're talking about. But you've done that to, to not have to feel your emotions, to not have to connect with someone deeply in order to ignore those things. And although some of you have, you've just given into like these lower level desires, relationships, things to just simply distract yourself, completely keep you d distracted, keep your, for some of you to keep you from having to feel your emotions, from, keep, from keeping you from having to see things as they are, and to keep you from also just allowing yourself to truly deeply connect with someone. But, but these things that you had, uh, they were, they were very shallow. There was no depth. They were not fulfilling. But you've come to that realization now, and they are congratulating you on that because that was huge. For a number of you, it took you a long time to get here because you have. You've, for some of you, you've had to let relationship, like for some of you, you had a relationship that you held on to for a very long time. You had to let go of. And for some of you, you've even had to let go of some relationships. You know, this talks about, you know, just lusty surface and, um, uh, relationships that don't have any meaning. You've, you've accumulated them as well. You've had to let some brief relationships go as well, and that's caused some turmoil, but there was, there was no depth in that. You've seen that. But you're at this point of evaluating, contemplating, really trying to figure things out. Now, most recently, the card that you have is mental conflict, and this is number two. Hopefully you can see that without the glare. This is all about being stuck, not moving forward because we are stuck in our own heads, being indecisive. You know, I mentioned earlier in traditional tarot, this would be two of swords. It's a figure of a woman holding two swords. She's blindfolded because she's, she's purposefully not wanting to take the blindfold off and see that she can simply make a decision to move forward. So for some of you have simply not wanted to take any action. You've been overthinking things. You've been overanalyzing things. I mean, swords are all about communications. And for, for some of you, it has been a very hard decision. It's not been easy. It has been a hard decision. But they're saying for some of you, you have been stuck in this point of indecision for way too long. It's time to make that decision and it's time to move forward. And for most of you, you've been stuck in this state out of fear, fear of the unknown. They're saying for some of you, you have met this, this love of a lifetime, this person that you're, you're destined to be, that they're, they're trying to guide you toward, but you're fearful of trying to, to get that, to renew that connection. Again, for most of you, it's because of things you did, but for some, it could be things that they did. But it fell apart and you're now at the point of needing to make that decision, take some action, because it's only when you make that decision and take action that will things then will things finally start to get better for you until then you're just going to continue to be stuck in your head and they're saying for some of you they've been trying to free you from this for a while see how his eyes are like kind of lifeless stuck in a place of desolation sadness despair you, you've been there for a while but all it takes is to make a decision now as far as the thing that you're unaware of this is a major arcana it is wisdom number five now in traditional tarot this would be the hierophant and so the Hierophant, it's, it speaks of something that's very spiritual, very spiritually guided, divinely guided, divinely led. In some instances, it talks about a marriage of a very spiritual high nature. So for some of you, this is a, this is a soulmate. This could be a twin soul. For some, this could be a twin flame. But what you're unaware of is this, this person for some of you that you're trying to make a decision about is the key to your happiness. If you see here, I mean, he's got the sun rising and shining on him. Here's this family, husband and wife and a son there. There's also a dog here. So for some of you, this person's also going to, they're going, the two of you are going to together create a family. And this person's also very loyal. They're very faithful. Because some of you were in a relationship in the past or a marriage in the past where your partner was not faithful. They cheated, they lied, they were dishonest. 
And they're saying that's the reason why some of you are actually afraid because you're fearful if you move forward with this person that it will turn out like it did in the past with your ex-spouse. But it's divinely guided. It's watched over by the heavens. This is number five. This is a big change. So for some of you, you've been single for a very long time. So for some of you, for years. So to move forward and embark on something is going to be a huge change, but it is the thing that's going to bring you what you desire. It's going to bring the sunshine back into your life, the joy back into your life that you've been lacking. And for some of you, you've been lacking it for years. Now, as far as what's recommended, when I was shuffling and praying over these, these two cards popped out together. The first one you have is Angel of Families and Terrible Glare. Sorry, we're about to have some storms here in Ohio. The lighting is not that good. So let me hold up so you can see the image and I'll read the bottom. The angels surround both you and your family at the moment. And then the other one you have is Angel of Healing. And it says, the angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. So what they're saying is, for most of you, this is about love. You actually have met the person. You've had the epiphanies, the aha, the information, trying to guide you to this person. But you have fears that are keeping you from moving forward with that person. For a number of you, those fears are stemmed off of experiences that you had as a child. So for some of you, there's you have to do some inner child healing with regards to your mother. For some of you, your father. Because those experiences as a child are making you feel as though you are not deserving of a divine love like this. And what it's making you do is it's making you push it away. Run from it, hide from it, run into other relationships, drink um, promiscuous behavior. But it's because at a core level, you, you have these feelings. You feel, so for some of you, your parents could have made you feel as though you weren't good enough. No matter how hard you're at, you just weren't going to be good enough. Made you doubt yourself. Made you doubt your worth. Made you feel as though you weren't lovable. But you need healing for that. And for some of you, it, it, it's healing with regards to relationships in the past that failed. But it's healing that's going to be taken care of via not your typical healing. It's, uh, you need energy healing. So you need to see an energy healer. If you can see here, he's got these, these beams of light coming down. He's touching looks like her solar plexus or her sacral chakra. When we've had experiences in the past that have hurt us, we, we will store that stuff in those chakras. So there are a, some of you, it's, it may be something that you, for everyone pray, ask that God, Jesus, Archangel Raphael, come and help you with your healing, help heal those things. There are a number of meditations out there that you can listen to that will help with child healing. There's actually one by Cassidy Kane with Twin Flames 1111. She has some awesome meditations that, that do energy healing and she's, you know, remarkable at that. Download one of those, listen to that. And for some of you, you are gonna need the help of a professional healer. So you can, there's a number of different energy healing modalities out there. So look, find someone that you feel guided toward. If you pray about it, you ask that the angels help you find someone, they will lead you to the right person who's going to help you with your healing. So you can get past this and get into this. And they're saying for a number of you, it's, it's not really that difficult. It's not as hard as you think it's going to be. Okay. So for the emotional withdrawal, we have La Mica, La Alegria, and Vedvo. So, let's see if I can get you guys to see all those at once. So the first one that we have is friend, confident, a relationship of trust, someone you can count on. And then we have, you know, cheerfulness, celebration, celebration, friends, family. And then we have the widower, loneliness, a sad man bound to his past. Now there are two different cards for happiness. This is talking about happiness with like family, friends, but then there's a card that speaks of happiness of the heart. Some of you, you have met this person who you would have a strong, solid foundation, a strong, solid foundation with, but you push them away to go in a different direction. And they were talking about cups. So for some of you, you had this potential love of lifetime, this love interest. You pushed them away because you want to go drink and party with your friends. For some of you, just want to go drink and party and have fun in relationships with other people. But now you've realized, okay, she's the one, and and I messed that up. I ended that. That's over. And now you're alone. But not all of you are completely alone. Some of you are it was super, in a superficial relationship, meaningless relationship. But you're alone because you're not satisfied. And you've realized the one that will satisfy you, bring you joy, bring you the bliss, bring you the things that you desire, you've pushed them away. 
And for some of you, they've, they've moved on. So we have La Monte, Consolante Sorpresa, and Disgrazia. So, hopefully you guys can see those. So the first one you have is the lover. This is the shy woman. She doesn't share her feelings, doesn't share her emotion, but it, it is a requited love. And then we have the consolation. And then you have the misfortune, something misfortunate, destruction. It's like the tower card, everything came crushing down. So you know how you're stuck in your head, you're not making a decision. It's because, same thing, you met this person. She's your female lover. But some of you, you thought she was a consolation prize. You thought that she she wasn't really it. She wasn't really the one that was going to make you happy. For some of you, you actually went back to an ex. For some of you, you start a relationship with someone else and you burnt the bridge with her. So for some of you, because you thought she was second best, you didn't think that she was the one for you, you burnt that down. You totally, for some of you, you totally burnt that bridge. And it's for some of you, they're saying it's because you did. You went back to an ex, you started a new relationship, but you just burned that down. You set that up in flames. And that's why you're stuck now here. But now you're stuck in your head. You, you, you've come to the realization of that. Okay. So we have the conversation, La Fidelta, and La Reunion. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. You go from all this destruction to positive conversations. Conversations that have good outcomes. Loyalty, faithfulness, and the reunion. So although you're in a state of despair and you think that it's completely over with this person, what you don't know, it's spiritually guided, it's spiritually led. You're, you're receiving a lot of divine help with this. You know what I was saying earlier? This person's loyal, they're faithful. That's what you have. But it will start with having a conversation with her or him. You can trust that it is built on a solid foundation, a foundation of loyalty, trust, requited love. And for some of you, it is going to result in marriage. You know, as mentioned earlier, the Hierophant is a, is a card that speaks of a relationship, a very spiritual, divine marriage connection. Yes, we're going to get it for all of them. <laughs> you guys get a lot of clarifiers today. Okay, so as far as your healing, you have the desperate jealousy, despair, and pensiero thinking. So this card's like, you know, distraught by jealousy, excessive attachment, doubt, suspicion, despair, worry, grief. And then you have the man thinking, contemplating, meditation, meditation, going inward, thinking. So as far as the, the healing, some of you are thinking, okay, how in the world am I gonna fix this mess? You know, they're saying sometimes they'll say, you know, I shot myself in the foot. Well, some of you, you shot yourselves directly in the head because you had this beautiful thing and you ruined it. Or you think you ruined it, you didn't ruin it. Look, what, look what's on the future. There are some steps. There are things that you will have to do though. It is going to take some work, but you can repair it. And you're contemplating how, how do I do that? How, how am I going to get there? How am I going to fix this? And your first step to doing that is for, for some of you, the family that they're talking about is her. You have to heal it with her. They're talking about that. There does need to be communications, which is that card? No, this one. So for some of you, you have to have conversations. You're going to have to lay out the truth. No matter how ugly it is, because for some of you, you're afraid of sharing all the, the sordid details. Like, oh my gosh, if she hears how bad things really were, if she really hears how many women were really involved, if she really hears how I'm a closet drinker or for some recreational drugs, I have these behaviors, these things that I do to push love away because there's healing that has to happen in my heart. But if she really finds these things out, she's going to be madder than a hornet's nest. But you're going to have to communicate that. You're going to have to trust. Remember, this is beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. But you do have to take steps for it. And for many of you, it's going to begin with communicating because the communication is going to heal things with her and she is your family. For many of you, she is a divine family. She, you have a divine connection with her. For others, there is going to have to be some energy healing for you, healing past hurts, be it with lovers, family members. It can even be things from past lives, but there's going to have to be some energy healing so you don't push these gifts, these blessings, this person away. 
So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you are all able to push through and get some of that done. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.